Hello everyone, uh, not too long ago we made a video about using the Horion injector to inject clients into Minecraft Bedrock and all you would do, you'd open Horion, select dev mode, locate library, go through and find your .dll file, open Minecraft and then press inject. And while that works very well, some people don't trust it, there's been talks of it uh, certain links giving you a virus instead of giving you the injector, so move that out of the way. Um, I recently found out about something called Project Star, and what this does, this is an injector, it's designed for Helix Client, the Helix Client, and you can choose your own DLL, so I can go and select DLL, I have Onyx 1.16.40, I would select that, I would get it saved. Uh, I would open Minecraft and press inject. But also, something very special about Project Star is you can downgrade your version of Minecraft. So, uh, whereas you would normally be playing on the newest version, 1.16.210 currently, I now play on 1.16.40 because I would like to use shaders. It's really easy to use, you just install, you press the redownload thing, It'll uh, there'll be a pop-up by here. You press redownload. I, I might go into that in another video if someone asks for it. Yeah, so the way you would go about making it so that you can get your own DLL. Normally, your project star would look like this, where it's just launch Minecraft. So what this would do, you would select your version, and you would launch Minecraft, and it would inject the Helix DLL. It would go in and find that, and just inject it, so you don't have to select it. But not everyone chooses to use that. Personally, I use the Onyx client. I think it's the best, but of course, that's my opinion. And the way you would make that work is you go into Options, go to Branch, and select Experimental. Then you press up here on the star. It doesn't appear as a button, the same way it doesn't like switch to a little pointer finger. You click on the star, then you can enable Dev Injector, go to Launch, and then you can select your DLL. You probably want to make say, press Save, and then you can just inject. Make sure that this little box here, it says Minecraft.Windows with a capital W and a capital M and that will work for you. Uh, if that box is empty, you'll have, well it won't have problems, it just won't work. The other alternative is the actual Onyx client injector. Uh, this is theirs. I don't think it is as good as Project Star, however, it still is very good. I really like how clean it is. Um, you can launch Minecraft through it the same way uh, Project Star can, and you can do a custom DLL. Uh, just note that this is not a version changer, with the same way Project Star has. This changes what version of Minecraft you are on, and this just changes which version of the client you inject. You don't actually have to download the .dll files, you have them automatically when you install this injector. And you just, if you're on version 1.16.210, you select that one. And you just launch Minecraft. However, I'm on 1.16.40, so I'll just launch Minecraft 